Wow, now we also have some big crocodiles around here, not as many as the Mara have, but have a look at this beautiful big crocodile sunning itself on the bank. Scott, I'm so sorry about that link about a mystery teacup. <laughs> I didn't hear Megan properly. It's the mystery cheetah you were speaking about. Don't know where I got teacup from, but anyway. <laughs> Scott must have thought I've lost the plot completely. Look at those teeth. Now, this is a big crocodile. But I know that the team in the Mara see crocodiles much bigger than this. They are monsters up there. I'll see, but I wonder, can we get those, the top right hand side of the tree? It's a bit difficult now with the lights, but let's see if we can get those up there. Those are lesser striped swallows. Um, and it's difficult to make them out, but I can guarantee they are because I heard them calling. That little one, though, isn't. Uh, those two that flew away were lesser striped swallows. That is something else. Can I tell you, it's just a silhouette. I can't make out any color or anything on that bird. So, I'm not even going to hazard a guess. I don't know, unless it's a... Uh, you know what, I really, I can't see anything. I just, I've got a silhouette. But those lesser striped swallows, I could see earlier. Um, and this bird has puffed up its feathers and got its back to us. Sorry everyone, I can't make out what that is. I'm not going to even try hazard a guess. But the lesser striped swallows are nice and I'll actually play their call for you. They've got a lovely call. Quite easy to identify. Hold on a second. Um, while we have a look at that uh, beautiful crocodile who's still and the hippo look actually sorry so there's a lot of hippo activity a lot of hippo look at that let me play this lesser striped swallow call for you quite a distinct call quite easy to identify so that was oh, it's it's funny some some of the lesser striped swallows are here year round and um, in certain areas and then they move around a bit. But that, uh, that call of the lesser striped swallow is quite distinct. Now, Francis, you asked if I've ever seen this crocodile kill something. Um, no, Francis, I, uh, I haven't, I haven't. Wow, look at that light coming through now, beautiful afternoon light. I haven't, I haven't seen this crocodile feeding on anything. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe it catches, um, catches uh, some fish. Um, or anything that comes down to drink, I'm sure, is, is potential prey. But I haven't seen him feed on this I'm not sure if it's the male or female. I think they, they uh, actually don't know exactly how many crocodiles there are here. Um, but um, but you know, I'm not sure if this is a male or female. Apparently, there there is a, a it is a pair um, that they well there is a pair that they do see here. Um, because I was chatting to one of the managers here the other day and he said he's seen their mating. So it's a male and female. Oh, this fish eagle's about to fly over us. There it goes. Well done, Seb. Oh, amazing. That was wonderful. Well done, Seb. That was so quick. Oh, yes. Look at that. You see? Throw the head back as it called. 
it really throws that head right back. Amazing. Oh, that was perfect timing. Oh, there it goes. Catch something for us. Come on. No. Not interested. Oh, you never know. Wouldn't it be amazing to watch a fish eagle catch something? Let's see if it calls again. That's beautiful light, beautiful light and great stuff. Seb, well done following that fish eagle. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Uh, Mr. P from Canada, you say vultures versus eagles, which is more powerful, which is stronger. Well, vultures are much larger. Um, and the vultures, are, you know, the power of their beaks, their talons, they, they are very powerful. So I would have to say vultures, um, purely because of size. But, um, but you know, I think um, the, the, a bird with the strongest talons, actually, is a eagle, and that is the crowned eagle. That is probably the most powerful talons out of any bird of prey here. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Yep, yeah, the three-banded plover. We've got that. Thanks, Seb. Beautiful to see them, though. Look at that. And also in this wonderful light. Ah, now a bird we haven't seen here for quite some time, but does occur in this area. Scott has found it in the Mara, and this one definitely won't fly away. <laughs> 